so hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you welcome back once again to another class of pib 247 in today's class guys we'll be talking about the pib news from 28th of june 2023 all right so without any delay let's begin with the class and of course the admit cards are now out i hope you guys have downloaded your admit card so it's the right time ki ab jo bhi aapke paas hai just show this universe okay so let's begin with the very first question guys which talks about the champions 2.0 portal which ministry has launched champions 2.0 portal employing chatbot technology for automated grievance redressal in order to reduce the turnaround time using artificial intelligence ai now why champions 2.0 portal is in news because recently on 27th of june on 27th of june Ministry of MSME has celebrated the International MSME Day, International MSME Day, and there were various launches during uh, the celebrations. Number one, Champions 2.0, the second edition of the Champions Portal, has been launched, which has employed chatbot technology. And with this chatbot technology, grievance redressal will be automated in order to reduce the turnaround time using AI. Right. A mobile app for geotagging for cluster projects in technology centers has also been launched. The third edition of MSME Idea Hackathon for women entrepreneurs uh, was launched. And there was a digital release of rupees 400 crore margin money subsidy to 10,000 to more than 10,000 beneficiaries of uh, the very important scheme that is the Prime Minister's Employment Generation Program. All right, it's, it's very, very important. Now, there were some MOUs that were signed during the event. Number one MOU is between the Ministry of MSAB and SIDB to create a portal for PM Vikas Yojana, PM Vishwakarma Kaushal Samman by SIDB. Ministry of MSME and GEM, these two have signed an MOU for sharing of Udyav registration data with Gurmedi Marketplace so that uh, the, the last mile MSME can register itself at the Udyam registration portal. Ministry of MSME and Credit Guarantee Fund Trust for Micro and Small Enterprises. These two have signed uh, an MOU for giving guarantee coverage to the beneficiaries of the MSME sector. Okay. Now, an MOU has been signed among NSIC, National SC Finance and Development Corporation and National ST Finance and Development Corporation. Now, these three will promote uh, mutual collaboration for supporting SC or entrepreneurs, SC or ST. Uh, entrepreneurs under national SCST hub scheme and various other schemes which are being implemented by uh, these two organizations NSFDC and NSTFDC right and finally an NMOU was signed among NSIC LG Electronics India Private Limited and Electronics Sector Skill Council of India and why this MOU has been signed to establish a center of excellence by LG Electronics in NSIC Technical Service Center which is located in Chennai and Hyderabad okay I hope this is clear. So which ministry has launched Champions 2.0 portal? The correct answer is option C, Ministry of MSME. Question number two, which mobile app has been recently launched by the Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Daring to strengthen farmer based disease reporting system and to improve reporting of aquatic animal diseases in the country? Which mobile app is this? Remember guys, the name of the app is Report Fish Disease App. The name of the app is Report Fish Disease App and it has been launched by Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairy. Why this app has been launched? Through this app, the government intends to strengthen the farmer-based disease reporting system and improve the reporting of aquatic animal diseases in the country. It has been developed by ICAR, National Bureau of Fish Genetic Resources under, under National Surveillance Program for Aquatic Animal Disease which in turn funded under the Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana. All right. So it has been developed under National Surveillance Program for Aquatic Animal Diseases, which is a project being funded by Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana. Okay, ji. So that is all about it. And therefore, the correct answer is option A. Question number three. Youth Collab was co-created in 2017 by City Foundation and which of the following organizations to invest in and empower youth in the Asia Pacific region to accelerate implementation of SDGs through leadership, social innovation and entrepreneurship. So why Youth Collab was formed? It is already mentioned in the question. In which year it was formed? It is already mentioned in the question. And the question is, 
it has been launched by city foundation in collaboration with which organization that is the question so when it was co created in 2017 why it is in news right now that is the important question so it is in news because winners of the 2020 223 youth collab uh, have been announced so 12 top startups from nine indian states were announced as winners at the fifth edition of youth collab national innovation dialogue india 2022 23 theek hai ji you don't have to remember the names of nine states these are not important for us uh the 2022 2023 edition was based on six thematic areas which are digital and financial literacy for youth right gender equality and women's economic empowerment developing fintech solutions focused on biodiversity conservation right the other three are promoting biodiversity friendly lifestyles through technological solutions in finance number 5 accelerating circular economy through upcycling innovations and finally uh, behavioral nudges for life that is lifestyle for environment so these were the six thematic areas theek okay? hai now you don't have to remember them not at all not at all required for the exam these are given just for the understanding that okay uh, what were the thematic areas of the recent edition of uh, youth collab the winners across each thematic area received a grant of us dollar 5000 runner ups received a grant of us dollar 3000 right aur is paise ka istemal karke wo apne ideas ko tangible products ya fir service mein convert kar payenge theek hai because hum sab jante hain objective kya hai youth ko lab ka to invest in and empower youth in the asia pacific region to accelerate implementation of sdgs through leadership social innovation and entrepreneurship it was co created in 2017 by undp that is the answer to our question undp undp and city foundation and in india it was launched in the year 2019 in partnership with atal innovation mission of niti ayog theek hai so that is all and therefore the correct answer is option e undp all right let's talk about question number 4 where will startup 20 engagement group under india's g20 presidency host startup 20 shikhar the summit meeting of startup 20 very important question the startup 20 engagement group under india's g20 presidency will host startup 20 shikhar at gurugram which is of course in haryana option c is the correct answer and this uh, uh, you know this shikhar summit signifies india's commitment to foster uh an enabling environment for startups and reinforce its position as a global leader in innovation and entrepreneurship theek hai to ye bas maine aapko ek line mein bata diya ki why uh, what is the significance of this startup shikhar but question aapko exam mein yahi aayega that where it where did it take place so it took place in gurugram in haryana so option c is the correct answer <clears throat> question number 5 what is the purpose very important question What is the purpose of new guidelines Sagar Samajik Sahyog issued by the Ministry of Port Shipping and Waterways Sagar Samaj Samajik Sahyog these are the new guidelines of CSR right these are the new guidelines of CSR which have been released by the Ministry of Port Shipping and Waterways right uh, these guidelines will empower ports to undertake CSR activities directly theek hai ab isme kuch criteria kuch inhone diya tha ki kitna kitna CSR expenses allowed hoga to number 1 अगर हम ये नेट प्रॉफिट है और ये उसका अलाउड सी एस आर एक्सपेंसिज है सो इफ दोर्ट है प्रॉफिट ऑफ हंड्रेड करोड़ और लेस सो बिटवीन थ्री टू फाइव परसेंट ऑफ नेट प्रॉफिट विल गो टू द सी एस आर इफ द प्रॉफिट इज हंड्रेड करोर्स टू फाइव हंड्रेड करोर्स द सी एस आर एक्सपेंसिज इज टू परसेंट टू थ्री परसेंट ऑफ इट्स नेट प्रॉफिट सब्जेक्ट टू अमिनिमम ऑफ रुपीज थ्री करोर्स एंड इफ द नेट प्रॉफिट इज अब फाइव हंड्रेड करोर बिटवीन जीरो पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट एंड टू परसेंट ऑफ इट्स नेट प्रॉफिट ठीक है और कहां कहां पे जाएगा सीएसआर फंड का ये भी उन्होंने बताया है तो ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द सीएसआर फंड जो भी ओवरऑल सीएसआर एक्सपेंसेस है लेट्स से अ कंपनी इज स्पेंडिंग अपोर्ट इज स्पेंडिंग रुपीज हंड्रेड ऑन सीएसआर एक्टिविटी सो आउट ऑफ दैट ट्वेंटी रुपीज विल बी इयर मार्क टू सैनिक कल्याण बोर्ड एट डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल नेशनल मेरीटाइम हेरिटेज कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड नेशनल यूथ डेवलपमेंट फंड दीज थ्री थिंग्स 78% percent of the funds should be released for social and environment welfare of the community in areas that is the whole objective of csr uh, fund and the rest 2% of the total csr expense will go for monitoring of projects under csr programs theek hai ji so that is all about it uh, so what is the purpose uh, the purpose is to empower post to undertake csr activities directly option b is the correct answer question number 6 
Yeah, this is again a very important question. According to Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, total length of national highways was 91287 km in 2013-14, which increased to what in financial year 2023. Now, guys, this is in news because the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways has released its nine years achievement. And also Ministry of Ports, uh, Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairying has also released, but I have not taken it today because that would be too long. Right? Session is very long. I'll be taking it in the Monday session. And uh, I'm afraid that it won't happen that all the ministries will launch their 9 years achievement launch because in that case, this will be very important and it will be very much. So I wish that all the ministries will not launch. Okay, now we have two done, but let's see, we will do the rest of it. So the 9 years achievement of Ministry of Road, Transport and Highway have uh, announced by the Ministry of Road, Transport and Highway headed by Nitin Gatkari. So according to the ministry, total length of national highways increased to 145 to 40 km in financial year 22-23, which was 91287 in financial year 2014. And it is a rise of more than 59% during this period. And India now has the second largest road network after the United States of America. Increase in four-lane national highway, it rose by about two times from 18,371 km to 44,654 km. Okay, one second, let me erase all this. Thoda zada ho gaya. Okay. Toll collection with the introduction of fast tag, we all know there is a significant jump in the uh, toll collection. Revenues rolled, rose from rose to rupees 41,342 crores from just 477 crores. And the government in, aims to increase the toll revenues to 1,30,000 crore by the year 2030. This is very, very important. Waiting time at toll plaza has been reduced to 47 seconds from the erstwhile 734 seconds in 2014 and it will uh, be brought down to 30 seconds soon. Transformative impact of fast tag on travel experience because it has revolutionized the concept of toll payments, eliminating the need for cash transactions, uh, cash transactions and reducing the uh, waiting time at the toll plazas. Okay? And this has Till now, approximately saved rupees 70,000 crore rupees in wasted fuel expenses, right? Northeast may special emphasis is being laid on the expansion in the road highway network projects more than uh, projects worth more than 2 lakh crore are being carried out in the region. Jo uh, Nahai, National Highway Authority of India ka infrastructure investment trust hai, that offers an attractive interest rate of 8.05% which has surpassed the traditional bank rates as well. And till date, NHEI achieved the seven world records and those seven world records are not important for us. There have been some green initiatives taken by the Ministry of Road Transport and Highway. NHEI transplanted more than 60,000 trees while it planted 3.86 crore trees during the last nine years. Uh, NHEI has developed more than 1,500 Amrit Sarovas along the national highways across the country. 30 lakh tons, I think this is 15,000. If I'm not wrong, it is 15,000, typo error hai, ko pe, but I'll check that and uh, we'll make the correction in the PDF. If it's 1500, that is fine, but I believe that this is 15,000, but I'll check it, okay? But 15,000 is not because total 50,000 is in Amrit Sarovar. So let's see, I'll check it and we'll update you through the comment section. 30 lakh tons of garbage has been reused in road construction for the Delhi Ring Road project and uh, bamboo crash barriers, Bahuballi have been introduced. Okay, so these are all the uh, achievement of the Ministry of Road, Transport and Highway. Or Ministry of Fisheries, Animal has been in Daring. So in today's session, I haven't taken that. I'll take it in the next class. Okay. So the correct answer will be option E, 145 to 40 kilometers. Right. Option E is the correct answer. Now let's talk about the questions in short, but before that, if you want to have the PDF of this class, you can join the telegram channel. The link is provided in the description. Question number seven, very important question. Ministry of power has revised the biomass co-firing policy for enabling purchase of biomass pellets by power plants at benchmark price. From when the benchmark price of biomass pellets will be effective. Kab se effective ho gai? So it will be effective from 1st of January, 2023. Option B is the correct answer. Which of the following is organizing exhibition to showcase a first of its kind exhibition banking on world heritage with theme Vasudhav Kutumbukam, which we all know means one earth, one family, one future in New Delhi. 
So it is the Indira Gandhi National Center for the Arts. Option C is the correct answer. Which of the following has organized an Anusandhan Chintan Shivir, Chintan Shivir in New Delhi with an aim to encourage defense research and development within the industry and academia? Very important question. This Anusandhan Chintan Shivir has been organized by DRDO, Defense Research and Development Organization. Option C is the correct answer. How many technology priority areas have been induced in DRDO Technology Foresight 2023? Kitne hai? So these are guys uh, 75. Option B is the correct answer. Very important question again. With which company has Ministry of Defense signed an MOU to engage ex-servicemen and to facilitate their seamless integration into the civilian workforce? Retire on the civilian workforce mein unka integration aram se ho jai. Uske liye the Ministry of Defense has signed an MOU with IBM. Option D is the correct answer. How many e-seva kendras have been launched by Ministry of Law and Justice under 25 high courts to bridge the digital divide by providing e-filing services to lawyers and litigants? Again, an important question. So total 815 e-seva kendras have been established till June 2023. As per the Ministry of Law and Justice, option A is the correct answer. And the last question for today, but not the least, the Goa Road Map has been endorsed at G20 Tourism Working Group meeting and ministerial meeting which was held recently in Goa. Which of the following are amongst the priorities of the Goa Roadmap? So the priorities of Goa Roadmap guys are Green Tourism, Digitalization, Skills, Tourism, MSMEs and Destination Management. All of them are the priorities. Option E is the correct answer. Okay, ji. Alright guys, so that is all for today. I hope all the questions and their explanations are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section and that 1500 Amrit Sarovar wala thing I'll clear in the comment section. Don't worry. Take care. So I'll see you in the next class. Goodbye. Take care and God bless.